We're about to see the biggest shift in technology since the iPhone, and most people have no idea it's coming. AI, AI, AIs, AI, 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 AI. Right now, the world still runs on apps. Everything we do, banking, shopping, fitness, travel, is built around downloading apps, creating accounts, learning interfaces, and jumping between screens. But AI is about to kill all of that. Not because apps are bad, but because intent is faster than interface. Let me show you what I mean. Today, if you want to do something simple, like book a flight, you have to find the right app, open it, log in, browse through menus, tap 15 times, compare options, and hope the UI makes sense. But with AI, you just say, book me the cheapest flight to Barcelona this weekend. Only direct and put it on my business card. No app, no login, no tapping, just intent to outcome. And once people get used to that level of speed and convenience, they won't go back. Apps won't disappear because AI is more powerful. Apps will disappear because AI removes friction. This is the thing no one is talking about. We're moving from which app should I use to what do I want to happen? Claude's app builder, ChatGPT's workspace, Gemini's multi-agent actions, even Microsoft's co-pilot stack or Spotify's personalized actions. Even Apple is hinted at agent-driven UI. Every major company is quietly preparing for a world where you don't navigate apps, you delegate tasks. The AI becomes the interface and that has massive implications. Think about what this means for your business. If your customer doesn't open the app anymore, how do they interact with you? If their AI agent handles the booking, the buying, the comparing, how do you differentiate? How do you even show up in that future? So here's the real shift. Apps used to be the end product. Now apps will become APIs behind the scenes, responding to AI agents rather than humans. We'll stop designing user interfaces and start designing AI-friendly services that agents can understand and execute. So here's what leaders need to do. Number one, build for intent, not UI. Your future interface strategy is really a what does the user want instantly strategy. Number two, Make your product indexable by AI. If an agent can't navigate your services programmatically, you won't exist in the new ecosystem. Number three, move from app-centric to agent-centric design. Think beyond screens and buttons. Think workflows, outcomes, and actions. Number four, treat AI as the new operating system. This is the big one. AI won't be an app inside your phone. AI will be the layer that runs your phone the same way iOS or Android does today. And just like the shift from websites to apps, the shift from apps to AI interfaces will wipe out the entire product categories and create new winners overnight. This is the part where people go, yeah, but apps won't disappear completely. Of course they won't completely vanish tomorrow. Just like websites didn't disappear when apps came, but behavior changed, attention shifted, power moved and the companies who adapted early became the giants of the next decade. The same shift is happening now, and the companies who designed for AI-first interaction will become the giants of the next decade. AI is becoming the interface, apps are becoming the pipelines, and a tent is becoming the product. The future won't be built on screens, it will be built on outcomes. And once people taste that, there's no going back. Hopefully you enjoyed today's topic. I'd love to get your views on it. It's quite an up and coming one. And please stay subscribed to my YouTube channel and LinkedIn newsletter for the latest updates because I'm on a mission to make you the smartest person in the room when it comes to AI. See you next time.